friends, welcome to our channel. It's a beautiful Sunday morning here in Ottawa and I just finished my workout. I'd love to have some green tea to refresh. Then I was like, why not have some tea with you together? And I'd love to show you another way to use Gaiwan. Most of the time we think Gaiwan as a vessel to brew tea. However, it's also a very great vessel to drink tea from. So grab your favorite green tea and a gaiwan and let's enjoy some tea together. The green tea I want to enjoy now is this Mintian Gu Zhu Zi Sun. It's a very lovely green tea from Zhejiang province. Gu Zhu Zi Sun has a long history dating back all the way to Tang Dynasty. It's considered the best tea by Lu Yu. I don't know if everybody would still think this tea is the best tea in today's tea world, but there's no question, it's a very lovely, delicious sip. Okay, my water is boiled and I'm ready to start. I'm using boiling water, but uh, depends on what tea you're brewing, feel free to change the water temperature to what suits you the best. As always, we're going to rinse and warm up the gaiwan. Uh, the leaf of amount I'm, gonna to uh, I'm going to use to match this size of the gaiwan. Uh, my rule of thumb is to lightly cover the bottom of the gaiwan. It's roughly around 2 to 3 grams, depends on your intention. Like today, I'm gonna go a little bit heavy-handed because I like to enjoy this tea the whole morning. And we're gonna let it steep. Uh, while the tea steep, I like to talk about the gaiwan a little bit. I, uh, we had a video if you're new to Gongfu tea and Chinese tea and would love to learn some basics about uh, how to use gaiwan, how to choose your first gaiwan, uh, we have a very fantastic video covering all the basics, techniques and uh, important details that are very handy for beginners to know. So be sure to check out that video. And in that video, sometimes <laughs> I get a comment about Guai, uh, Gaiwan is such a great uh, tea brewing vessel. Why do we have to bother drinking with it? Um, well, honestly, Gaiwan is initially a drinking vessel. For hundreds of years, it has been a drinking vessel till very recent. It smells so good, so relaxing. It's actually a little bit sweet. Like it has that uh, bean, not pea, bean. I guess by saying bean, not pea, I feel like the peas has, have more like a, like greener, more fresher smell to me. While pea, uh, beans are like, starchier, just really gently starchier and sweeter kind of uh, profile. It's actually very simple to drink from the gaiwan. Intuitively, because this is hot, we want to hold the saucer and we would use the lid to gently cool as well as get the leaves away from our lips. Oh, this is so good. And it's hot. Be sure to slurp it. It's good to cool the uh, temperature to protect your mouth and also gets you more of the flavor of the tea. I love to have green tea before or after a workout because it also helps the uh, vitamin, uh, the vitamin C also helps with the breaking down the fat cells. So uh, that's my little trick. Do you think it's worth doing a video on vitamin C and tea? I have been doing some 
uh, chemicals and tea in the more like uh, less popular chemicals but I feel like a vi vitamin C is so like everybody knows it about it maybe there's no point doing it but on the other hand I guess there could be many misunderstanding about vitamin C and T. So let me know by commenting below. It's also okay to give it a little blow to cool it. Gaiwan, this vessel actually usually traced back to Tang Dynasty, where it was first a bowl. Then, by book record, it was a Ning's daughter who invented to have a saucer with it because she and her father both loved drinking tea and found it's quite hot and it could burn the hand, uncomfy, right? So she came up with an idea to have a little saucer. Later on in the Ming Dynasty, uh, they start to have more guy real gaiwan shape gaiwan meaning the cup and the saucer start to have more lids on it and eventually evolve into today's shape that we're all very familiar with the gaiwan shape when you drink it you can also use the lid to help hold the leaves away from your lips, if that helps. Suddenly I feel like I'm a noble. Because if you watch some old shows, in especially like a Qing Dynasty, that's how people drink, those royal families and stuff. Yes, in Qing Dynasty and the royal families, usually this is how they drink tea. And also, even today, if you go to Sichuan, uh, actually we have a vlog in Chengdu uh, showing you how comfortable people are in the park having tea. Their tea house is literally in the park and basically just a space in the park. It's not uh, like in a house as a tea house <laughs> supposed to be. Um, very, very comfortable leisure under the sun, you know, in that humid uh, climate with the sun, with the tea. It's a social gathering, it's a community, it's just uh, lovely. And uh, for those people, this is how you drink tea. Usually, we say with green tea, um, when you sip till there's about one third in the cup, you can add some more water. In my case, because I put extra leaves, I'm gonna do it a little bit early, like around half. And this is how you do multiple infusions. So you just sip like this. Before the liquor is all gone, you add more water till at the point you feel like this is empty and that will be it for tea. What we see today in Chinese tea that we use Gaiwan as a brewing vessel actually is borrowed from Chaoshan Gongfu Cha. While the beginning of Chaoshan Gongfu Cha is actually using teapot. It's considered one of the key component of Chaoshan Gongfu Cha. And later on, because Gaiwan is so convenient to do, easy to rinse, easy to control the flow and everything. Uh, it slowly, slowly transitioned to the popularity of Gaiwan. Overall, it's, I think this is a great vessel. If you want to brew with it, it's great. If you want to sip with it, I think there's nothing wrong with it. And actually, I love it. I feel like it gave me that, that elegance, that uh, that uh, nobility feeling that I usually is not quite in my character so it's totally up to you how you want to use Gaiwan and there's nothing wrong drinking from the Gaiwan at all 
This is a wrap for this video. I'm not done with the tea at all. I'm gonna keep drinking it as I do all the house chores. Hope you enjoy your weekends. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy this video. Consider subscribing to our channel and hit the notification and hit the notification bell. Looking forward to see you again. Until next time, keep steeping. Thank you.